Let us rise for the angels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. And the word became flesh. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. Call forth, we beseech thee, O Lord. Your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, and by his passion and cross, be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. May the divine assistance remain always with us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Intentions for this Mass. For the intentions of the, of the Director of PMS, Coordinators, Animators, and all the children of the Archdiocese of Lagos. For Mrs. Anne Francis the chairperson of the MCA media team, thanking God for a successful surgery and wishing her a speedy recovery. For all the deceased animators and children in the Archdiocese, may their souls and the souls of all the faithful departed rest in peace. Amen. Birthday Thanksgiving, Madam Shola Ogundeji Thomas. Birthday Thanksgiving, Alexander Lewis, birthday thanksgiving, Shola O. Thomas, and Matthew O. C. C. Lawyer. Special intentions, Onogo's family, success and breakthrough, Honorable Tayo Bangushi Martins, for the peaceful repose of the souls of John A. Badamosi, Michael T. Sarumi, Francis O. Oyewumi, Philomena S. Shokweju, Elsie A. Odunewu, Akoni T. Odunewu, Victor O. St. Matthew Daniel, Grace B. Obeide, and Raphael A. Marona. May the good Lord grant these intentions and the intentions of our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. 
God in his holy place, God who unites those who dwell in his house, he himself gives might and strength to his people. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With children all over the world, we have gathered this afternoon for this Eucharistic celebration and we pray at this Mass for those who have booked for the Mass and indeed for all of us who have gathered with our various intentions. We pray too for our parents and for those who have asked us to pray for them, those who cannot pray for themselves and for those whom we have the obligation of praying for. We pray that our Lord and God who meet us all at the point of our need and grant answers to all our prayers through his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these mysteries worthily, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for pardon and for mercy. Together we make our confessions known to God and to one another. I confess to Almighty God that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I've done and in what I've failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
let us pray. O God, protector of those who hope in you, without whom nothing has firm foundation, nothing is holy. Bestow in abundance your mercy upon us and grant that with you as our ruler and guide, we may use the good things that pass in such a way as to hold fast even now to those that ever endure. We make our prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Jeremiah. The prince and the prophet address the officials and all the people. This man deserves to die, since he has prophesied against the city, as you have heard with your own ears. Jeremiah, however, replied to the people as follows. The Lord himself sent me to say all the things you have heard against this temple and this city. So now amend your behavior and actions. Listen to the voice of the Lord your God. If you do, he will relent and not bring down on you the disasters he has pronounced against you. For myself, I am as you see in your hands. Do whatever you please or think right with me. But be sure of this, that if you put me to death, you will be bringing innocent blood on yourselves, on this city and on its citizens. Since the Lord has surely sent me to you to say all these words in your hearing. The officials and all the people then said to the priests and prophets, This man does not deserve to die. He has spoken to us in the name of the Lord our God. And Jeremiah had a protector in Haikam son of Shaphan, so he was not handed over to the people to be put to death. This is the word of the Lord.
According to Matthew, Matthew chapter 14, verse 1 to 12. Herod the Tetrarch heard about the reputation of Jesus and said to his court, This is John the Baptist himself. He has risen from the dead, and that is why miraculous powers are at work in him. Now it was Herod who had arrested John, chained him up and put him in prison because of Herodias, his brother Philip's wife. For John had told him, It is against the law for you to have her. He had wanted to kill him, but was afraid of the people who regarded John as a prophet. Then during the celebrations for Herod's birthday, the daughter of Herodias danced before the company and so delighted Herod that he promised an oath to give her anything she asked. Prompted by her mother, she said, Give me John the Baptist's head, here on a dish. The king was distressed, but thinking of the oaths he had sworn and of his guests, he ordered it to be given her and sent and had John beheaded in the prison. The head was brought in 
on a dish and given to the girl who took it to her mother. John's disciples came and took the body and buried it. Then they went off to tell Jesus. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, be seated. With children all over the world. With children all over the world. We thank God for this opportunity he has given to us here today to listen to the word of God, especially these words coming from the prophecy of Jeremiah and the gospel of Matthew. In these two readings, we have two God's generals. Generals in the sense that they proclaim the word of God. <clears throat> Jeremiah and John the Baptist, they have one thing in common, and that is their brevity. They lived among their people, and these people they live among with are far older than them. They have more wisdom than, than them, if we can clarify it in that. They are more experienced than them. They are older than them. So Jeremiah and John the Baptist, we are young people who are looking at the evil that the elders, the people in the society are perpetrating that is not good. And they decided to speak to them what is right, what God wants from each and every one of us is to do what is good. So as children, you have the right to stand against evil. You have the right to tell your elders when they are going wrong that they should come back to the right path. You have the right as a child to tell the truth not to lie, to stand for justice. And when you do this and put it as a challenge to the elders, it will bring about a change of heart in the minds of the elders who are enjoying in doing evil. And so today we are called to emulate the lives of Jeremiah and the life of John the Baptist who despite all odds, they were able to tell the others that what you are doing is not good, is not right. However, we should understand that the cost of truth is not cheap. It's very expensive. And we must know that, that Christ has also told us that the truth will always set us free so we should stand on that no matter what we come let us also remember that christ had told us that in the world you will find tribulations but be of good cheers because i have overcome the world is an assurance that is given to us as his children so as the children of the mca let us know that we may suffer. People may hate us because we are saying the truth. People may come against us because we are saying the truth. People may despise us because we stand for justice. But we should bear in mind that one with God is majority. Even when people despise us, God will not despise us. Even when Herod decided to cut off the head of John the Baptist, yet he could not stop the spreading of truth. So let us bear in mind that we are called to uphold justice and truth. Even when the world is against us, our words, the truth we stand for, 
will always speak for us and let us know that we have been called as children to walk in that path God wants us to walk. When we do that, he will bless us. He will guide us and give us the grace to overcome the challenges that may come our way so that in the end, our goal of reaching heaven will be achieved and the witness we bore on this earth will also be recorded for us. We pray that God will give each and every one of us the grace to always stand for truth, stand for justice, stand for equity, and for righteousness. May the Lord bless us all through Christ our Lord. Let us rise for the prayer of the faithful. John the Baptist was the herald of the new covenant. We honor this great man and pray with him to God our Father. John the Baptist was outspoken for God. We pray that we will be brave enough to speak the truth, even when it is dangerous for us to do so. We pray, O oh Lord. We thank God for all men and women who have witnessed to be the Christ of the church. Even today, may their, may their blood be the seed of the church. We pray, O oh Lord. Was put into prison because he spoke the truth. We pray for all prisoners of conscience who have lost their freedom because because of what they believe. We pray, O oh Lord. John the Baptist pointed the way to Jesus. May our lives give a glimpse of the Lord to those who do not believe. We pray, O oh Lord. Courage to act with integrity, even if we risk the displeasure of those in power. We pray, O oh Lord. Coordinators, parents.
strength and guidance and her who teach children that the Lord will continue to strengthen them as they carry out their mission. We pray, O oh Lord. bishops and the priests of the church, that they may fearlessly and clearly teach the Catholic faith, and that the Holy Church will grow in charity and unity. We pray, O Lord. that they may be consoled in the comforting strength of God's Holy Spirit, which alone can give the world true meaning and purpose. We pray, O Lord. particular for peace that they may, that they that we may look to the future but in hope and confidence and that all the world leader may recognize that the destiny of nation is in God's country the world of the world. Parted from us by from death, especially Mrs. Obuji, Shibusoma, and Nancy, that they may enter New Jerusalem, read out with a new high, read out with a new, read out with the high lamp of God. We pray, O oh Lord. now silently add our previous intentions. Let us pray through the intercession of Mary, the refuge of sinners, as we say, Hail Mary. Powerful Father, give of breath and bread. Lead us to seek the pearls of great price, the everlasting treasure of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever.
brethren, that my sacrifice in yours be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the offerings which we bring from the abundance of your gifts, that through the powerful working of your grace, these most sacred mysteries may sanctify our present way of life and lead us to eternal gladness. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Now with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices we pray join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. 
for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. With the first acclamation, we proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until God Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Alfred Martins, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, amen. And glory. Of the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, were there to say, Our Father, art in heaven, be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth, as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord God, we pray, from every evil. Amen. Graciously grant peace in our days, Amen. that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory are yours now. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, as you say to us this day, 
Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of Christ's peace and love. Love in Christ, behold the Lamb of God. Behold in Jesus who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for the eternal life.
the benefits of worshippers at home and elsewhere, we make an act of spiritual communion. O oh Jesus, we believe that you are truly present in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. We adore you, we love you above all things, and we desire with all our hearts to receive you into our souls. But since we cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into our souls and remain there forever. We embrace you as though you have already come. We unite ourselves entirely to you. Do not permit us to be ever separated from you again. Amen. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, have mercy on the dying. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar, have mercy on the dead. Jesus, in the most blessed sacrament of the altar. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O sacrament most holy, O sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and never forget all his benefits. Let us rise and pray. We have consumed, O Lord, this divine sacrament, the perpetual memorial of the passion of your Son. Grant, we pray, that these gifts, which he himself gave us with love beyond all telling, may profit us for salvation. We make a prayer through Christ our Lord. Now invite all the children with our animator to go forth behind the church and dance forth for Thanksgiving to God for the gift of life and for the gift of everyone here present. What shall we say to the Lord? All we have to say.
to Jesus with children all over the world. Children, children, we are friends of Jesus. Children, children, we are friends of Jesus. Put your hands together for yourselves. There is this song I want us to learn before we take the vote of thanks. And the director asked me to, that we should sing it again. Is Jesus love is very, very wonderful. Can I hear that? Once more, Jesus love is very, very wonderful. Good. So you follow me as I sing. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Jesus' love is very, very wonderful. Oh, wonderful love. Can I hear you sing? this wonderful and beautiful song while we demonstrate it we have choir one yours will just be singing Jesus love is very very wonderful then later choir two every one of us will now sing so high so low and so wide choir one are you set Jesus, I we can never be wonderful. 
singing their own don't stop singing your own keep going so high so low so wide yours is just simple jesus love is very are we together yes. choir one now we two go As we celebrate our grandma who celebrates her birthday today let us sing a happy birthday song for her happy birthday to you Grandma, on behalf of all of us, the MCA of the Archdiocese of Lagos, we want to wish you a very happy birthday, long life, prosperity, in good health of mind and body, through Christ our Lord. Amen. We now invite our coordinator to address us briefly. With children all over the world. Yeah. With children all over the world. Yeah. With children all over the world. Yeah. Thank you so very much, fathers. We want to give our appreciation on, the, on behalf of the Aja and the Janiki Jinnery. We want to say a very good, big thank you to you all. We want to thank God Almighty who has given us this opportunity to be here at this time and on this day we continue to worship you in Jesus name we also want to send our appreciation to the Archbishop of the Metropolitan See of Lagos most Reverend Dr. Alfred Martin Adewale Martins for his ever fatherly support we also want to thank the PMS director, Reverend Father Simon Irabo, in absentia, but represented by Reverend Father Emmanuel Imiri and Reverend Father Michael Nzekwe. We appreciate your homely. We also want to thank we also want to thank the Holy Cross Cathedral Administrator for hosting us. Very Reverend Father Paul Ijasan. We want to thank our chaplains, 
are uh, dinary chaplains and parish dinaries. We also want to thank the Archdiocesan Coordinator, Reverend Sister Doris Gali, who has ever been there for us. Can we give her a round of applause? We thank our chaplains, the dinary chaplains and parish uh, chaplains, also our dinary coordinators and animators. We thank you all for your supportive rule. May the good Lord bless you in Jesus' name. Our thanks also goes to the Lumen Christi crew and the CEO, Sir Soji Olagunji, who has ever been for us, ever been there for us. We say thank you, sir. We appreciate you. We also want to thank our parents for being with us, supporting us, and providing for us. May the good Lord continue to bless them in Jesus' name. We also want to thank our patrons and patronesses present and in absentia that the supportive role they have been giving us that the good Lord will continue to see them through in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We also want to thank Reverend Sisters here present and everyone here. The liturgical functionaries, our beautiful children, our choir, everybody here. And anyone that we have not mentioned, please, it's not on purpose. So we say that the good Lord recognizes you. So thank you so very much. We want to give all this can we stand up now to give all of them an MCA clap, please? Children, children, we are friends of Jesus. Children, children, we are friends of Jesus. Thank you so very much. May the good Lord bless you all in Jesus' name. We thank our coordinator for coming to thank us. We pray the Lord to bless you and bless all the animators and coordinators through Christ our Lord. Let us rise and pray. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth in peace, glorifying the Lord by your lives.